Hi, I'm Eric Abel, a Director of Product Marketing at WalkMe, and I'm excited to discuss how you can accelerate adoption of your Microsoft Copilot initiatives with our platform. The WalkMe Digital Adoption Platform acts as an overlay on your technology stack, providing data in the form of click-by-click -click visibility into how your people are using software and the challenges they have in their workflows. We provide easy to use tools to take action and address those challenges by building adoption and engagement experiences on top of your existing software UIs. Those experiences in the form of in-app guidance, task automation, AI assistance, error validation, they're personalized to the individual and in context with the job they're trying to get done. Companies are applying these capabilities to their AI transformation initiatives in a few ways. First, gaining visibility into the extent of shadow AI and bring your own AI that's happening inside the organization. Being able to see exactly what types of users are already using AI, putting in place guardrails to direct users to follow the right policies, including ensuring they use company approved tools. With users on the right tools, <clears throat> focus can shift away from just getting control over AI usage to now driving adoption and building proficiency with your company provided co-pilots for common day-to-day -day use cases. Then customers can use WalkMe to extend the co-pilot experience into other applications and add additional contextual AI assistance that provides users with the next best action in any application or workflow across the stack. We'll give a tour of exactly how this can help you accelerate your adoption of Microsoft Copilot, but first, just a little more context about why digital adoption is so critical today. WalkMe created the digital adoption category, and today many of the world's largest and most innovative enterprises use our platform. My personal favorite aspect of WalkMe is the digital adoption professional community that's so incredibly passionate about helping their employees and their leadership navigate complex technology change. We were founded at the onset of the cloud transformation era, and now with AI transformation arguably being the most significant change we'll face in our lifetime, we've seen with past digital transformation eras, there's always a gap between the rate at which we introduce new technologies and the value that we get. We call this the digital adoption gap. And it's a big part of why 70% of digital transformation projects fail. With the introduction of all this new technology, we believe this is going to become even more critical. But ultimately, this isn't a technology problem. This is a change management problem. And there's three critical roadblocks we've identified. One, no visibility to what people are already doing with Gen AI. Why? And if it's in line with your company's strategy. Two is the readiness and skills of your people to take full advantage of these new tools. And three is this disjointed co-pilot experience that's starting to happen with all of these vendors coming in that creates friction and limits the productivity games you're able to achieve. And this is why even though these tools are smarter than ever and promise amazing outcomes, it's more important than ever to have an adoption strategy to help you achieve your goals. And at the heart of any successful adoption strategy is people. Forrester put it well when they said people, not technology or data, is the key to succeeding with AI. So let's take a look at how you can accelerate Copilot adoption initiatives in practice and what people first adoption might look like inside of your Microsoft ecosystem. I'm going to take the role of Margaret, a sales manager for WalkMe customer Pied Piper. Margaret and her regional sales team were selected to receive Microsoft Copilot licenses because leadership views sales productivity and pipeline acceleration as a key use case for AI. Using WalkMe Analytics, they were also able to determine that over 60% of Margaret's sales team members are already using Gen AI on a regular basis. Let's look at a few simple and effective ways to get people onboarded quickly for example, this shout out, letting Margaret and her team know that Copilot has been enabled across their Microsoft applications. In this case, we're in Margaret's email, but this shout out, which is targeted to only users licensed with Copilot, can appear based on logic and business rules in any application.
email creation is actually one of the major ways people start to get comfortable with AI. So we'll use Outlook just as an example to show some of these elements of WalkMe. From the shout out, Margaret and her team are gonna be oriented very quickly to how to access Copilot when they need it and some of the basic functionality. While Margaret's team is pretty well-versed in Gen AI, Margaret's pretty old school. This is all completely new to her and WalkMe is here to help level the playing field. So we're learning how to spot Copilot inside 365. We're establishing company guidelines to preempt risk. We're getting familiar with the idea of prompting and rebanked prompts and even nudging Margaret to try her first prompt. But this is just table stakes. We're not here to just reinforce the basics. We want to cultivate power users over time. According to Microsoft's latest work trends index, over half of users at the time that they did the study had started using Gen AI only in the last six months. So here, WalkMe is going to provide pathways for users to explore new types of prompts that are specific to the context of their role. You'll see here that we've embedded a handful of common strategic sales prompts, like addressing the competition and finding customer stories. We're making these accessible in the same part of the interface where users will typically go to engage Copilot. But we also know from our experience that users don't always use apps like we intend and may never want to open this tab. Well, WalkMe launchers and menus can exist anywhere on top of a web UI, like this new hire email feature that we've added. So like 50% of Novus AI users out there, Margaret hadn't even thought of using AI for this. And she's not quite sure how she'd prompt it. So in this example here, we've actually templated out prompt generation. So she simply puts in the data. WalkMe is going to structure the prompt for her, navigate over to email, and even remind her that she should check AI's work before hitting send. Margaret's actually pretty fired up about this because her team is planned to double in 2025, and this can get pretty tedious. And for a moment, just imagine taking this same idea of templating prompt creation over into Microsoft Dynamics or another key sales application. And now her team can scale their interaction with clients in a very consistent way with everybody using the same exact prompts along every style of their pipeline progression process. So now we've covered creating basic adoption and then driving proficiency in the Microsoft ecosystem. But we know that work happens across dozens of applications. So let's talk a little bit about that and contextual AI assistance. Starting again here, where WalkMe has picked up from this interface that Margaret has expense reports she needs to approve for her team. So WalkMe is recommending the next best action and navigates her directly to the application. Here you can see that we've actually used WalkMe to give Margaret direct access to Microsoft Copilot in the context of the workflow she's trying to complete right now. So she can continue to leverage the Gen AI capability, access the knowledge she needs, and get the job done. So to sum it up, WalkMe customers are using our platform for AI transformation by gaining visibility and control into existing AI usage, helping employees develop adoption and proficiency with the right tools, and then extending their AI experience with additional context and next best actions across their entire tech stack. This comes in the shape of data, guidance, and guardrails on AI usage so that you can benchmark what, what people are doing today, can enforce compliance while supporting experimentation, can create awareness of the right AI applications for the right job, and when they get to the right app, build proficiency with guidance on use cases, prompts, and support resources at the moment of need, then continuing to measure usage and plan for how to expand adoption with a data-driven approach. AI value varies by role and how sophisticated someone is. 
So you can democratize AI further with contextual assistance and the next best action in any app. With WalkMe's extended AI capabilities, you can tailor AI to the specific needs of any given user base or workflow with no highly specialized or technical talent required. And by putting a consistent co-pilot experience across any application, it makes AI more actionable, eliminating context switching with a co-pilot that's always there. That concludes our presentation for today. If you'd like to talk more, scan the QR code or come to walkme.com and look at our AI solutions. Thank you.